You're watching Ericom, the cybersecurity unit at Cradle Point. I'm Peter, and welcome to the Enlightened series. The internet can be a dangerous place these days for those of us who surf around viruses, malware, ransomware, third party drive bys, third party ad servers, phishing. So how do you keep your users safe out on the web? So usually you can assume these are your people. Now they could be, you know, the remote users work, working from home, of course, just people in the, in the corporate office, of course. Now, typically when requests, outbound requests are made, many organizations have what's called a secure web gateway or a next gen firewall. And these are packed with allowed or blocked sites. Um, they also check for potential malwares and any known vulnerabilities out there, which means that really doesn't look like a W, but you get my drift, which means that there's it's signature based. So it's really all about detection. And if you can detect a vulnerability or an attack, then of course you can block it because there's a signature in there. And then, you know, from that folks go off or not to their various sites. Now this is all fine and dandy and the bad guys know about this too. And if there's a signature out there and they have something with a known signature, why bother? And so now they're resorting to what's called zero zero day attacks which means that there is it's an unknown attack or an unknown vulnerability there's no signature created for it and in fact mandiant talks about there's been like a hundred percent increase in zero day attacks over the last couple of years so how can you keep them safe well of course ericom has a solution so with Ericom, let's draw our little ZT Edge cloud. Now with this installment, it's kind of cool because what you can do is this. So for safe sites or known sites, safe. So that might be that might be your CNNs of the world, your YouTubes of the world. You know, you also might be want to, you know, over here, you block the normal things you might want to block, the gambling, the porn, potentially even streaming sites if you have bandwidth concerns. So here, what we do is the safe sites are allowed. Okay, that's typical. We know all about that. Easy. Then we have over here bad sites so we already know you can actually we have a, a pre pre-configured list of pretty much a whole bunch of known safe and bad sites you can preload and then you can go in and then add your own so bad sites obviously are blocked that's all good now if there's a situation where the end user gets blocked but it's a good site then they got to go to it open a ticket request the site to be open potentially opening uh some risk there you know the other thing is over here this person could also be at a um insecure wi-fi so that's another risk potential risk out there because these might be unmanaged devices so everything goes through the ZT edge. So safe sites allowed, bad sites blocked. And that's kind of where it comes down to with your typical secure web gateways. So like, what do you do with risky sites or even 
unknown risky sites, unknown sites. So instead of just the simple allow or block with risky sites or unknown sites, what we can do, and this is kind of this new paradigm with security is isolate. Isolate right off the bat. So it's not in any of these, it's unknown, just automatically isolate the site. And what does that mean really? So isolation, when you set that up, is essentially a, a container, a cloud-based isolated container out here. So it's not, never reaches the end user's device. And so cloud container, isolate. In fact, you know, Gartner talks about now that pretty much one of the only ways to keep folks safe out on the internet is to isolate these risky or unknown sites. So then it appears in a cloud container and then this is actually streamed to the end user. So they're not even visiting these sites at all. They're actually just coming to this cloud container isolated. And so if there is risky stuff on here or unknown stuff, it kind of just stays in here. It never reaches the end user. And the same with phishing. Known phishing sites. Known phishing sites. What do you want to do with known phishing sites? What we can do is again, send it to the cloud container and make read only. And read only means is you can still see the site in the browser, but your username and password, those fields are blocked out. You can't even enter them. So it's really protecting the user. You know, someone with an itchy clicker finger may see that email come in, get sent to the phishing site, but then there's an alert within the system like, whoa, 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 you don't want to be going here. We then isolate the, um, the site. Now, the other thing too is in any of these situations, you can also, oh, where do I want to put it? Sanitize, sanitize the download. So, you know, even if a safe site has some, you want to download potentially something bad, it can go through the engine and it'll sanitize and protect any malicious downloads from coming. And now, recently this happened to me on my work computer. And it's kind of interesting. I thought it would be cool to show you exactly what happens when the system, when the system thinks that it's a potentially bad site. So let's take a quick look. All right, so this is what it looks like when you go to a known bad site. So this is a known phishing site. You'll get the alert and you'll click the okay. But the cool thing is that it doesn't allow you to enter your username or password. It sends it into read-only mode. The action is restricted and you're then protected. Even if you click on the link, you're protected from a phishing attack. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting, eh? So that's what the end user sees when a site is potentially or thought of as um, you know, a bad or an unknown site, it can be blocked and then you can send a message to the end user about exactly what's going on. So a new paradigm in web security and protecting your end users literally from themselves. <laughs> so if you'd like to learn more, please visit eracom.com. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching. If you like our Enlightened series, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time here at the Lightboard. ZT Edge, the simple, affordable way to move to zero trust security.